Okay, so let's have a look everything onto the tool side, guys, and then we'll understand how things are happening over here. Well, uh, I have to take up my source table over here where uh, uh, the changes has been captured. Let me uh, call it up uh, my changes over here. Uh, this is my target table actually, and uh, this is going to be my target table actually, and I'm going to have it. Uh, a source table which is nothing but uh, uh, my existing data or this is this was my uh, source table and uh, actually this is my target table so this is my target table sorry uh, this is my uh, target table with this data and uh, I just wanted to uh, have a look on uh, my source which is nothing but uh, uh, added with the one extra record and some change in value which where the actual change has been happened onto the real value all right so let me <clears throat> call it up my source over here I have to import it my uh, files so I'm just going into the directory where I have uh, created as we know that guys the best practice says just create into the C directory to two folders called inf underscore s and inf underscore tar. Place all your sources. If you have access of your source files, just move it to the inf underscore s or just copy it and paste it into the inf underscore s. Where target of flat files or XML files, just you need to keep it under inf underscore t. It will be easy to locate and always it will be easy to understand where exactly they have been placed and uh, it will always too easy to fetch it. Well, I'm just going into this uh, SCD type 1 and uh, I'm just calling up this one where I have Boston, New Jersey, Dallas, New Jersey, New York, which is my source table now because uh, this is an updated table. So I need to take up this uh, uh, updated table over here and uh, I need to check it everything. Everything looks fine here, over here. And I can see here uh, there is an option import field name from this. I just missed it so that I now I'm getting a perfect, uh, you know, perfect uh, table result. Well, this is nothing but my source where my target is going to be uh, my Bangalore one, basically, previous data. Let me call it up this data, and you could see this is updated record. Basically, Dan was not there. And New Jersey has been updated over here. Well, uh, my source has been uh, taken up here, and I have to take up my target table now. Target import from, and I can go and I can import it uh, my target table, which is nothing but EMP uh, with Bangalore and with no data record over here for the DAN. Well, this is what I'm going to carry it out and uh, rename it EMP underscore because this is going to be a target. So I'm just calling it uh, update strategy transformation UST EMP dot UST and that will be the name of my flat file over here. So in this flat file, I just wanted to add one more port called uh, um, one more port over over here called. Uh, my key port or we can call it s key s underscore key s underscore key port by which it is going to be identified here well now I'm going to apply it and OK and this key port I just wanted to make it a, a value call uh, it says precision 10 but I don't want a 10 it should be 4 here maximum of four characters need to be applied. So let's uh, do repository save so that source and target table will be safe. Now it's time to come into the mapping where I have to create mapping create and MP underscore as we are going SCD type 1 so SCD type 1 with EMP table. So let's call up this thing and SCD type 1 uh, will be called up by using your uh, update strategy transformation. So here is my EMP SCD table when I'm taking it this source. I can see my source qualifier is also coming. So 
let's take up this source qualifier here and uh, I can see like it's done here and uh, I have the data record just wanted to preview it uh, from there and uh, New Jersey Boston Dallas this is updated record what we have it over here and I just wanted to see the uh, than data all right so it's there already so now it's time to take up my target table and from the target actually I'm going to take up uh, my UST EMP.UST and I just wanted to show you uh, the data over here and uh, data over here will be my nothing but uh, this record all right so this is my record over here so let's uh, close it up because uh, nothing has been changed over here it's I need those uh, data which is changed need to be updated as soon as possible so how things are going to be done remember the mapping we will have update strategy transformation and uh, sequence generator transformation so both transformation need to be create say transformation from the transformation menu create and we want first of all update strategy so update strategy and it's going to be uh, update strategy transformation UST underscore EMP uh, underscore SCD1 well that is the name of my this transformation and into this transformation what we are going to do is we are going to take up all the ports which I am going to take up as a pass through and uh, the whole port is going to be taken up here as a pass through so I'm going to do what is I'm going to say auto link and auto link is going to be from source qualifier to the USC SCD so I'm going to say apply and say okay well this is going to be happen on to this position so let's uh, one more time like uh, I just need to be uh, auto link to this one okay it's not happening one second um, basically it has to be source qualifier and some source qualifier to this one right all right so it's done basically or it's need to be done by this way you just take it up all the columns which you wanted to compare here so I'm just taking all the column as a pass through and uh, here you could see S key has been added over here where I'm just getting into this and I'm checking out the ports here input and output ports here the property I am need to set it update strategy expression remember that zero is used for my case where I'm going to show my updates for the uh, uh, updates are going to be like uh, zero is going to be considered as insert which is a default by default you'll see zero as a insert if new records are coming update as a insert but we want update as a update so I need to have one for update as a update as expression uh, if we want to delete then two and then three for reject well I have to capture the updates because shows to target has updates so let's call out up uh, this expression over here instead of zero I'm going to call it one validate it okay and we are done from this update strategy transformation here nothing more I have to do it over here so I can do one thing I can map it up the whole part where it is going to be uniquely identify with the help of this S key so for generating my S key I just need to have my another transformation called sequential transformation sequence generator so sequence generator transformation as sequence generator transformation or SCD one alright so create it done where these ports are fixed we are not going to do anything else into this uh, we can't create or delete these ports so I'm just mapping it to the target and I'm just getting into the port you could see that these ports are fixed going into the property where it says start value and incremented value so I just wanted to take up this everything onto the hundred and with a change of 10 
so that everything will be uh, proper and accurate so current value is one I make an uh, check up uh, my current value as uh, as of now and this is my end value here say so let's say apply and OK and my update uh, strategy transformation for SCD type 1 has been completed now